one's still kind of using it as part of our warm up, all right? From here, he gets the knee on belly, shin across the stomach either way. I'm gonna grab one grip, again, closer to the bottom of the leg, and the gi I can grab onto the pant leg or sleeve. Here, you can grab onto the foot, or you can get an underhanded grip here. I kind of like this underhanded grip because I can lock my arm out and be strong. This hand is gonna be pushing. The goal is gonna be to bridge up, and then I'm going to turn and bring the bottom leg underneath and then reclaim my hand. You're gonna push this leg in. This hand, yeah. you're trying to, as you're like, pushing up, if you drop uh, this leg underneath, you're gonna use this, this hand to shove it into the legs, okay? So bridge up for me here, Hunter. Now, turn your hips and shove it in. Bang, right there. Now, from here, you wanna try to get all the way into your uh, your, your half guard here. Yeah, now you're in, you're in a quarter guard. There's stuff that you can do from the quarter guard. I'll, I'll show you how to do this. I can scoop underneath here, and if I can pull that leg towards me, push against the hip, I can come up like this, right? So, not a bad movement. But sometimes you're gonna be in a position where maybe that just isn't working, but you can still get underneath here, okay? What I'm gonna do from here is you wanna try to get, get a little bit of knee bump here. Right, so I can get him going. Ooh. This hand is gonna go across, and instead of pushing on the knee or the hip, it's gonna be across the body here. In your head, you're gonna make a little bit of a, think about making a turtle shell. Okay, so you can swivel easily. I'm gonna push, head goes to the inside, and now we can come up to the back. Now there's different leg configurations that we can do here, but essentially we're gonna be in a nice basic fit, uh, boom, to get the hands to post. This hand's gonna go on, on the inside of the armpit. This is to stop him from turning back to me easily. And then from here, we swivel through. Now, once we're in this position, like I said, there's a lot of different leg configurations that you can play around with. We're gonna be looking for this leg to go around the back of the upper hamstring here. And then we've got this figure four here. And then from here, you would have the heel option to go right. Bridge up, again, cross post. If you get confused, just think head needs to swivel on the inside, leg goes across, we got a figure four, four, and then you can have it on the inside here, right there, like, like just right there, just, just like this. And we have, now here's the thing, you hear someone talk about this idea of a knee line, okay? So when we're saying knee line, we're saying if we draw this imaginary line, right here, their knee is inside of that. Just like when we do an arm bar, if I have an arm bar, I wanna make sure that that elbow is inside of my groin or up towards me, uh, through the hip line, same thing, knee line, that's it. Cool. Is that in there right now too? Yeah, you're good, you're good. Because now you could, we, we could go back here, and you got different options, we can go here, we can do the butterfly style, right? We can come up here, we've got a couple different options on it, but we can attack it. Yes, so you have the grip on the heel first, because if you don't, the main defense from here is the back step, and if I don't have the grip on the heel, she can back step and get her leg together. To deal with that, just as a, a quick piece of maintenance, I know I've gone over this several times. Ideally, if I can get my foot there, it stops that. If I can't get my foot there, and I've either committed to this triangle, or I don't get my leg out in time, then when the back step happens, God bless me with two arms, I wanna to try to use those to catch, post, push out, right back to where I was. The triangle is, I think it's a good way to get used to this, but I ultimately think your feet being apart and pushing on this leg is, is far, far better. This just pinches the leg just as strong, but it also puts her in a very not defendable position because I'm really straightening. Stepping all the time, and then it's kind of, what do I do from there? It depends a little bit on whether she's trying to run away or sit back. If she's sitting back on me, we're here, then I want to post with this foot, swim this under, and sit myself up, and it will send her forward. I then collect the knee, sit back, heel hook. If she's trying to retract and run away from here, then I extend my bottom leg and arch my back so that that knee falls right back in the pocket and then either triangle your legs again or immediately go back to your post on that foot, crunch, heel hook there. And same as every other mechanic, but people seem to forget it more here. Remember with heel hooks, we don't want to pin the heel in our elbow pit. It's just too easy for it to slide off. And a lot of times in this position, we get excited because we're in backside 50 50. We do this, we look super cool, we check around the room to see who's watching, and then this slips off. Where, if I would just kind of pay a little bit more attention and actually shelf it on the wristwatch, this is too far, the heel will slip out. This is right where I want it, right where, uh, right where the hairband is. It's pretty much straight. I'm putting the ankle and biting over top. Once more.
So in a perfect world, I catch here and I can hit this early. If we're late, now I have to get her weight off me, which is a little bit more work. I scoot on me, I start to pull this up towards me. I can use this leg, keep on forward. I just want to create enough of an inversion that I have access between the legs. I post to push out, circle through. And notice I'm basically catching the foot as early as could be too. So that now when it drops, it's directly in the position I want. Clamp over the top. When you're doing it, it's like a fulcrum with your two hands, right? I'm gonna lift. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you feel that? Now, now. <laughs> it's up here. Now pinch it really tight, elbows down here. Oh, yeah. yeah you feel oh, that, right? Oh, yeah. And then what ends up happening, basically, is if you want to think of it, it's like by locking this in as we do this, this is twisting oh, yeah. in, right? Yeah. As opposed to if we're here and like we start doing this, there's a lot of wiggle room. So you get the toes stuck in, making sure the elbows, the heels out, and then you really think about trying to get this bone digging in here. And then now we can begin to rotate our upper body through this. Back up, it's similar, but the idea is the same. The knee, the knee. So, if you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Now I can barely choke you. That's what she said. That's how I like that shit. Woo! Hoorah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end up on episode Natty now. Yeah. <laughs> <Go. laughs> there. Change his body triangle over Donald. Get his foot, get, get the knot to the ground. No. Oh no, well, now you're the arm strap. No, you now, yeah, 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 okay. Get your back to the mat. Come on, fight it. Oh, oh, so right here, just fight by hand. Okay. Right here, like up to the wrist, okay. and then you can pull that. Okay, yes, sir. Are you on my back, Donald? It's the bad thing about showing people how to do stuff, especially when you're, as you get a little older, the young, scrappy guys take it, and they run with it, they get really good with it, and it's super tough to deal with. It's a good thing, uh, but it's difficult. So, 
think I'm doing. I'll give myself a pat on the back for being a decent coach. <laughs> we got three minutes left, guys. Keep working. He was trying to get me. He's like, I'm trying to stick it to the white man. <laughs> <laughs> He's high yellow anyways, he's halfway there. <laughs> Woo! That's the white man in me. <laughs> Go! Calling out to make the rules. Hard to kill, motherfucker. Hoorah! Let's go! That's it. I'm just like rolling with Brandon, like rolling with annoying, like playing an online game with someone. What? Yeah, like a week before. Do the idiot. Alright, guys. Any questions? How do you not get shit on? How do you not get shit on by Brandon? You gotta do the shit on him. On a serious note, whenever you have people's back, I keep on trying to like grab this like arm, like yeah. whenever they're slipping out this way, and like trying to hit something and pull it over. Is that like a good idea to have or just something more effective? From the back or the guard? Like like when I'm like on your back. Like say like I'm on your back. Show right? what you're doing. Boom. And like you start, like I have your hand, uh -huh. and you start trying to get your back down right here. Uh -huh. And I'm like pulling cool, trying to get this back under. Yeah. Is there something more effective about Well, doing? here's what you can do. Because like Brandon will do that a lot, grab uh -huh. the wrist. Uh -huh. And this is something I was doing that last round to hang on to. Didn't didn't help me get the choke, but uh -huh. help me hang on to longer. Take this hand and push my elbow. And then, okay. Because here's the deal, come real quick. So, you know, this is kind of the fun part about doing those situational rounds. You get like a chance to do it again. And say that, man, I had back now for one time in the whole round. I didn't have enough time. So, like, let's say we get here. And all of a sudden, I feel you try to push your body over this direction, right? Okay. Like this. Well, if I get over and grab this wrist here and push, try to get you back from that. Yeah. And that's such a scoop. Yeah. Right here. Okay. It's